Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you're doing a macro, which is a set of recorded uh, keystrokes and clicks and so on, uh, you want to be able to go through and go, let's watch this happening one step at a time. And here's a simple way that you can do it. So, for example, I've got one here called Bosch. I didn't know what to call it, like Bish Bosch Bosch. I called it Bosch. And it's sort of done some stuff. You can see what's happened here. It does curves, see what it does from the bottom up here. Noise reduction, then sharpening, and then curves. Notice also it happens only as a single step here, so I step back and I've got the original there. So what if I want to watch that happening it's one step at a time? Just a simple example. If I right click on it and go to Edit Macro, it brings up the macro one here, and all you do is you've got all these steps here. So you turn these off, except for the top one. Then when I press play, it's just going to play that. Once I do that, add noise reduction layer, there it is. If I want to look at it, I can just double click it and there it is. I can see the, the dialogue there. Then if I turn that off and click on the next one, click play, it effectively goes straight to the next one. And now it's moved the luminance up to 10%. Then I turn off that and turn on the next one, play that. It's set current selection. See, what it's doing is actually effectively clicking on the top layer so that when I add a new adjustment, it'll come as a child layer to that. So I then go add high pass filter. And there's the high pass. I can bring this up there so that when I look at the next one, uh, it does high pass there. So I click play there. See, it set the radius up to 0 0.9. You can just see the lines beginning, which is what you want. Then next one, set blend mode, click play. And let's change the blend mode to linear light so you can see the sharpening. Then set current selection again, so it's selected everything. Add curves, which I've done there. And finally set adjustment color space. Notice it's RGB here so that when I click on play here, it goes to LAB. And so it's a set of things I was doing with a, uh, a number of photos. And I was just putting in a bit of noise reduction. They were indoors, uh, um, so needed noise reduction, a little bit of sharpening, and curves as a basic. And I could go in and tweak them if I needed for each picture. But this shows how to you can step through each one. So now I can go back to the original picture. To clear up this here, I'm just going to click the Reset, go back to Library, and what's the next one? Here's another one I was doing with the various things, and that was Contrast and TO. What does TO? Highlight Saturation and Shadow Saturation coming up here. So what are those? So I can adjust those. You can see it's looking, this is looking a bit bluer and this is a bit red. You might guess that it's a teal and orange. Um, application there so putting the you know the highlights to be a little bit more orange and the, the shadows a little bit more blue. If I click cancel here it cancels the whole macro. If I click apply the whole thing goes through and I click cancel. So but I'm going to hit right click and then edit macro. So here are the simple number of steps. So I'm going to go through this here again. Now when I go to the first one add curves raster layer. I click play and look what's happening here. This is coming up. It's effectively before it starts, it goes through all of these, looks for ones like this, where if I click on edit, effectively here you can see I've got the highlight saturation and the shadow saturation set there. And it's going to it's gonna sort of ask me for this, even though I only want to run just the first step. So one thing you can do is simply click the eyes there to turn those off temporarily, but you have to remember then to turn them back on again afterwards. Um, or you can just hit apply on this each time because it's only going to put in the curves layer and so these are not being applied yet. They're only applied at the time, but it's just me you've got to click apply each time. So that I then go to the next one, 
click on that see again I just gonna click apply because cancelling means nothing happens altogether it throws everything away and merge see and it's not merged yet until I hit apply now it merges Yeah, apply again. So it's just a little bit of an annoying extra step, but you've got to do it. And then I'm going to click apply. Now it's actually going to be when you can use it. And then the final step is this here. Notice also in the middle of here, there's clues as to what's happening. There's merge down each time. So I apply it. So the end, final picture, there's no clues in here as to how what happened was so if you look for there for things like merge down that's going to tell you that the there's an adjustment being done and it's being merged back so you could even run this here the whole thing but just turn off the merge downs so i've hit a play on this and then say apply i've still i've got the actual adjustments there it leaves them in it doesn't merge them out but it shows you where they were that may be okay to do that, but depends on how complex it is, it might mess things up, but that's a possibility. So let's reset this here and reset this one here. And what else we got here? This one up here, line drawing. So if I click on this, it turns the whole thing here into a line drawing, and I can change the line strength here. And the line, this is going to go up very quickly, so I don't need to bring it up a little bit and you then it adjusts it and, and so on so there you go you get a kind of a drawing effect and I cancel that um, but if, the, if you run that again there's nothing left so if I click that again here and hit apply then it's got a pixel layer here with this line drawing in it leaves that one behind but you can't see what's happening so if I Go back from here to the beginning and in the macro I've got that out okay but now I right click here and go to edit macro down in here look for those merges I haven't got any merges in here but at the bottom is one called rasterize and that effectively is going to do a layer so that everything gets squished down into that so if I just unclick the rasterize and then hit play. I've got the line drawing. Let's apply that. And now I've got a whole group of things in here. So I've uncovered what's going on there. And I can like, check through all those things or even readjust them. So there you go. That's the general approach and some of the specifics of debugging a macro. Thank you very much for watching.